Here's another question. Do you think that, um, and this probably links into something I've experienced, but do you think that maybe bodies can be created to hold aware and awareness by like a negative force? So, so they, so whenever you leave, it gets redirected somewhere so that, uh, your, your will again, gets, uh, usurped or just, um, taken over. Definitely. Uh, for example, you can get a body and let's say meet other souls or like copy of soul. For example, the dark side will just copy the solar being and now you're like, oh, look, my family. You're not at the moment like realizing that it's a copy or a clone and now you develop a connection and it's not your real like a uh, relative from like not someone you know. Like it's, it's just like sort of like sort of fake one. But now you develop a relationship and you're like, oh, yeah, like I'll see you next time. So you, you develop the connection and now the dark forces, let's say you're going to get out of body or like, you know, you're going to shift consciousness. But now they set up everything in a way where you just made a deal that you're going to meet up with this being and you think it's your like friend or something. And you're actually going with the dark forces and like, hey, we got you in the body and we trapped you. Yes. So, you know, you're kind of stuck there. So, like, that happens a lot. Oh, man. I... <laughs> <laughs> How do you have so many traps? How do you avoid that? Is there a way to avoid it? Yes. Having the awareness of possibilities. At the same time, we can go to the places where our cons and the dark side doesn't even exist. Like, we create our own galaxy. And let's say, like, programming, we make our own rules that, okay, only this is allowed and everything else like you can even make it like invisible for everyone else so you have your own realm you have your own multiverse you have all of these planets and different civilizations and all of beings can live there and there are no traps no archons no bad things you're just like living on and having your experience until it becomes boring and you want a challenge and then you get back to the other game <laughs> nightmare mode yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> Um, but the... like regarding these traps, I think like the biggest thing is, um, they're trying to kind of sit like when we're not expecting it, and you know like there are tons of things that they're trying to do where they can catch our, catch our attention, like focusing in on something we're passionate about. For example, for you it is music. So when you're out there in the multiverse, you can hear a music like, hey, where's this coming from? Like it sounds like so good, and you are naturally attracted to it because it's your thing, and they know that. So it's, for us, it's like always like good to question it and even like have the intention to, let's say, you can make a scanner and like see if it's real or not, if it's good or not. And you know, for, for some beings, like you, you see them face to face and you can know if it's a good person or not. Yeah. You can make the same kind of mechanism with if the source where that thing is coming from is good for you or not. And eventually, because we are the creators, we can make the rules. And for us, whatever we say is that happens and like they can try to make their system of how they're going to capture us but we still can like okay this is going to be my cheat code i'm going to check if it's real or not oh it's not okay i'm not going to go there you know so like eventually we still have like final rule it's just good to be aware of it and if people are not then it's easier to catch us <laughs>